Hi everyone, I am Cemal Bulunmaz, your jewelry professional and you are here on Bulunmaz YouTube channel. In this video, I will use that little tool, our end mill tool for CNC machines and I will engrave a detailed design on a ring. End mills are little carbide tools made for CNC machines and they engrave on any uh, soft metal items. As you can see, the tip size varies from 0 0 uh, 0.4 mm up to 2-3 mm and you can engrave different pieces with them. That's ring maker and we are ready to show you details of end mills for our CNC machines. If you are ready, let's go. We are shooting a new video series about different tools used with our CNC machines. I'm using mostly Ringmaker CNC machine in this video series and we already explained to you about our different tools, CNC line tool, CNC point tool, different diamond tools and today we are starting our carbide tools with that little end mill tool. I will use a 0.50mm end mill in this video. 0.50 is one of the most popular sizes, that's not a small, that's not a big size, it's very convenient for rings. I set a ring, a wedding ring on my Ringmaker CNC machine and I choose that model. It's, little, uh, it's a detailed model so you can see the effect of our end mill. The end mill is made of carbide. As my company is specialized in jewelry industry, we are making end mills convenient for soft metal production. You can use our end mills for gold, silver, platinum or any other soft metals. Now I will start the operation. I fix my 0.15mm end mill here on the uh, 40,000 RPM spindle of ring maker but you can use it uh, from 25, 30,000 no problem the speed is more, you will get a better performance with the end mills if you want to know more about our end mills, about the sizes, raw material or any other information just have a look at our website www.budumaz.com you can also choose and purchase online with your credit card now on our website if you want to use your end mill in a convenient, in a long life, you have to know the exact feed rate, exact uh, moving speed of the end mill. That needs a little bit of calculation. If you want to know more about it, it depends on your uh, metal softness, the uh, area you will engrave, the depth you want to engrave. Just contact our technicians, we will give you more information about it. That needs a little bit uh, calculation. I'm using 0.50 mm. Uh, I can say that that's a, a small size, so I will engrave. Also, my design is uh, very detailed, as you can see here. So I will use my end mill in uh, three steps. I will engrave three steps. That's one of the tricks uh, you have to use your end mill to have a long life for your tool. I'm starting the operation with Ringmaker CNC machine. So my machine will engrave with end mill, and you can see the operation. You don't have to engrave only with the end mill, you can also cut out the uh, rings or bangles. I will show you later in this video. Don't think only rings and bangles, you can also cut many different items with end mills. I have also an uh, Excalibur CNC machine, you can see our videos to get more information. It's also cutting on plates. End mills has, have a wide range of use, you can use them in many different places. You can choose small sizes, micro sizes, 0.30mm, 0.40mm, they go up to 1, 2, 3mm, even you can get a, a bigger, bigger size end mills. When you contact us or when you go to our website www.bulumaz.com you will find our standard end mill shaft sizes 3 mm we uh, keep stock in millimeter size and in 3 mm size but if you need a special end mills such as 4 mm shank 6 mm shank we are also able to produce according to your uh, request
Ringmaker has completed the operation. Ringmaker is our uh, starter jewelry milling machine. You can have a look at our website or our YouTube channel. You will find many videos about it. That's a easy, compact, uh, low cost uh, solution for wedding ring and bangle manufacturers. Just search Ringmaker and you will learn a lot about it. There are uh, six heads on Ringmaker. There are vertical heads, horizontal heads, pneumatic heads, electric heads. It's a really good machine, I recommend you. I'm taking out my uh, ring immediately. I use the 0.50 millimeter end mill. My machine engraved uh, really quick and finished the operation. I used about uh, 0.30 millimeter depth with this tool. That's a safe distance, but you can engrave even deeper. Don't worry about it. When you get our 0.50 millimeter end mills, you will get a one millimeter depth end mill. The depth size of the tool is exactly double size of the thickness. You can also use uh, end mills in different uh, work operations. I use 0.30 millimeter depth, but you can engrave deeper and you can make enamel, you can make plating, you can make a old uh, retro look on your rings. There are many different solutions to use end mills. I want to show you one more option you can use end mill. I will cut out uh, around the ring, not just engrave, but cut out the ring and my ring will have a, a different shape. I will replace it uh, with a blank link because I will engrave a different model and cut out around the model and then I will choose my model. I changed my model to a, a design model. I made a background on a ring and I made a model that I will cut out. Uh, I'm waiting the process to finish because I want to show you directly the cutout process of Enmir. Now my model is about to finish. Let's see. Ringmaker just completed the design operation. Now uh, the next process will be end mill. I didn't make a automatic uh, split so because I wanted to show you. I'm not touching my ring because uh, I shouldn't change the uh, zero point. I shouldn't, I shouldn't change the location of the ring. I set a one millimeter end mill in this uh, in this model. Before it was 0.5, but now I use one millimeter end mill because I wanna make a faster cut. Now, if you are ready, this is my model. That model I engraved uh, on the ring and I will start the last operation with end mill and you see the uh, difference. Don't forget, we have every size of end mills. You can just order one millimeter, two, three millimeter or small micro sizes, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, any size you want. Here I just fix my model. That's, you can see the uh, end mill will cut out just around the ring. You can uh, the ring is ready to start uh, end mill. I said one millimeter, I told you design is ready. So I'm starting ring maker. The operation starts and my end mill will engrave the ring very beautifully. We'll cut it in several times because I don't want to break my tool. Even one millimeter, it's a big size, but the tool may break if you uh, cut in one cut because the thickness of my ring is about Two millimeter, one millimeter. One point two. One point two millimeter. Oh, everybody is right, huh? One point two millimeter ring. So I will cut it in uh, several times, and I will have a uh, quick process. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video and you want to learn more about our CNC tools, we have different CNC tools. CNC line tool, uh, it's made for engraving uh, work like an end mill, but it's made of natural or monocrystal diamond, so it gives a really good shine. We have CNC point tools, we have a ghost tool, we have different CNC tools. Just click on the descriptions of this video below and you will see a link of these videos and you can watch uh, that video series of CNC tools. That's a 10 video series we are shooting, you will see all the links below and we will keep adding new videos on this series when we start new models, new CNC tool models. The operation is going, my uh, cutout ring is about to finish, it take a little while because I don't want to break the tool, you know. As soon as it's finished, I will show you the result. Ringmaker completed the operation and I'm taking out the ring. Let's see how the ring look like. Here you can see my ring. Uh, I made a background first and I made a CNC line tool. And then I finally used 
end mill, one millimeter end mill to finish the sides of my ring and my ring has a new shape. We saw everything about end mill in this video. We used 0 0.50 millimeter and one millimeter two end mill sizes and we showed you two examples of end mills. As I told you, you can use end mills in uh, enamel, in making uh, old looking uh, rings or bangles, making plates, any uh, anywhere because end mills are a popular tool for CNC machines. I hope you enjoyed our video. In the next video of this video series, we will see drill bit. It's another carbide tool for CNC machines. So see you again soon and thank you so much for watching us.